Here I got a Siemens 22E 3TB41 relay. Uh, this is a replacement relay for one of the relays on my lathe. Uh, I was having some issues with the coil on the current one in there when you flip the hand lever when you turned on the spindle in the forward position when you flip the hand lever off uh, the lathe wasn't stopping instantly and the coil wasn't releasing the contacts in this. Uh, got in contact with the manufacturer they sent me out this particular relay and unfortunately it was dead out of the box. Uh, if you check across these legs right here oh seems to be working a little bit yeah there we go that's the first leg here's the second leg which should work yeah that one works fine and the third one is just about completely dead nothing happens Uh, I've never had one of these things apart before, so I figured they're going to be shipping me out another replacement one for this one, so that I can have this one. So I'm going to rip it apart and see what's inside one of these things. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit here. I believe they're the only two screws for it. Uh, yeah, feel some sort of springing action pressing this apart. It naturally pressed it apart that far. Pulling apart easily. Oh, and here we go. This looks to be, yeah, that looks to be the coil. Yeah. Got the one wire coming there. Got the other wire on the bottom. Two little springs down there. And... Alright, that's that. Two little springs here on each one of those. Must be the bottom part of the contact. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna give a whirl at doing this manually. Here's the third leg, which didn't work at all. Sorry if I'm coming out of focus or out of frame. Okay, still nothing. Jiggling around doesn't do anything. Oh. Huh. Pulling on it with a good amount of effort, pull, pulling on it with a good amount of effort seems to close the contacts across that leg there thoroughly. And there we go. Let me try the other legs on this thing.
That's the second one that was working fine earlier, and it's still working fine pushing the plunger. <coughs> and we'll try the first leg, which sporadically worked. Still sporadically working. And not working. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Well. The plunger is not working. Uh, the plunger is not working well in order to close the contacts. Uh, throughout the process of testing this out, it actually, <clears throat> when it came in, I didn't test it out on the bench here to check the continuity between the poles here, uh, between the legs there. I just instantly wired into the machine, uh, played with the plunger, and it just wasn't working in the machine. Uh, the, the spindle or the motor was actually kind of fluttering back and forth slightly, uh, kind of in a confused state. It seemed like it didn't know which way to go, whether it was forward or reverse. Uh, maybe just not enough power is getting applied to it. Uh, but I had yet to try powering up the coil on it. Every time I was testing it in the lathe and here out in the bench, I was just manually doing it by pushing in the plunger here. Uh, let me reassemble the whole thing, and I got a small bench top power supply, variable uh, voltage power supply, which should go up to 24 volts, which is what this coil is. And let me see if that will uh, do anything with this. Be back. Something I just wanted to point out, I tried reassembling it, I just picked it up, popped it together, and notice it wasn't seating in correctly, it wasn't setting nice. After opening up and looking further at it, let me see if I can get a oh, closer shot at that. Right there where my fingernail is, right there. There's a little raised boss on the plastic, which aligns into a hole on one of the sides of this top piece. So, when taking apart or putting more so putting back together, it does have to be oriented. It seems like it has to be orientated a, a certain direction. Thought I would just point that out. All right, I got the power supply on. Got it turned up to 24 volts. As we can see there, close enough. Uh, uh, being right now, I only have alligator clips for the power supply. I just got these little leads tucked into there. But let's give this thing a shot here. This is the third leg, which doesn't work at all when you push in the plunger. nothing and let's see what happens when we put it under power still nothing okay let's just try this and go right down the line Here's the second one, uh, which was always working. There we go. Still working. And the first one, which was kind of fluky. And it's still kind of fluky. It's pushed all the way down. And I 
seems like you kind of got to find a happy medium in there. And let's see what happens when that one's under power. Oh. I wonder if that had anything to do with the fluttering. Now it's working. Uh, I guess it wouldn't have nothing to do with the fluttering. This is the first time I tried the power to coil up. That one's definitely all over the place. Well, that's that.